In order to protect life on land, we need to protect life under the sea. And that's the reason we are here. My name is Larissa and I'm one of the Darwin leaders on the project Darwin 200 here in Cape Verde, aiming to protect sharks and rays with Biosphere. Sharks and rays are important components of the underwater marine life. If they are extinct, species of fish will prevail over others and schools of fish will be very far away from the coast, making it difficult for fishermen to find their own food. Cape Verde is an archipelago composed of 10 volcanic islands located in Africa that shelters a unique biodiversity. Besides endemic fish species and many species of turtles, sharks and rays are important components of the marine life in Cape Verde, where we find 45 species, including the critically endangered black chin gitterfish and the endangered Atlantic whistle shark. Black chin gitterfish is a ray that inhabits shallow sandy waters. It can be found in the Mediterranean Sea and in waters from Portugal to Angola. But these organisms are going extinct in these areas, making it one of the most endangered species in the whole world. But in 2017, the black chingeter fish was discovered in four islands of Cape Verde, bringing new hopes for the future generations of this critically endangered species. In Cape Verde, we can also find the Atlantic whistle shark, a species that can only be found in the Atlantic Sea. Before 2020, his status was defined as data deficient, which means there was no enough information of the populations of these sharks globally. By sharing data they collected, specialists from Biosfera allowed the transition of the status of this species to endangered. We have spoken with Osvaldo, a local fisherman, and Steven, a biologist expert on sharks from the NGO Biosfera, to understand the history of the problematics connected to these two species. apanhando e consumindo os peixes mais doentes ou os menos uh, favoráveis, digamos assim, os mais fracos, podemos assim dizer, pode-se dizer que os tubarões estão na cadeia, no topo da cadeia alimentar do nosso ecossistema marinho. Sem os tubarões, tudo uh, no mar pode desmoronar. A principal uh, causa para o desaparecimento físico dos tubarões e raias, não somente uh, aqui em Cabo Verde, mas também em todo o mundo, é a sobrepesca. E quando falo da sobrepesca, eu falo do shark finning, que é a captura para dos tubarões somente para aproveitar as barbatanas e também do bycatch. Anualmente tem mais de 100 milhões de tubarões que são uh, capturados uh, só pelo bycatch e também pelo shark finning. E por hora isso dá cerca de 11.400 por hora de tubarões uh, capturados. Even if they represent a small part of the problem, unaware local fishermen can also offer threats when they misidentify shark and ray species. Local fishermen can be willing to practice illegal fishery, such as targeting sharks and rays in their fishery and selling their meat in fish markets. 
sharks and rays face another threat, the lack of supervision by the competent bodies. Without the legal help of authorities, conservation measures can turn out to be less effective once illegal practices are not discovered, documented, and punished. Industrial fishery is capable of destructing underwater landscapes, decimating biodiversity, and ruining fishermen's lives. Every day, lots of individuals are killed by industrial fishing through accidental catch and economic interests for their fins and meat. Accidental catches are usually called bycatch. It happens when sharks and rays are not the fishery target, but caught them is a consequence of the fishing activity. That means these animals are not only a direct target, but also an indirect victim. Why is the profit more worth than the lives of millions of sharks? Will Osvaldo have to drive his boat further and further away to fish? What will happen to the fisherman village of Callao if Osvaldo and his neighbors will be gone? Will it be substituted by hotels and resorts? Save the ocean biodiversity. Shape a sustainable habitat. Respect the sharks and reefs, the predators of the ocean.